Have you ever heard of Mercedes multi-beam LED? This tech is literally insane. Pop your full beam on at night time and it does this. Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nick O'Leary and today we're looking at Mercedes-Benz multi-beam LED. However, to show this off properly, I need it to be night time. So then guys, adaptive headlights. So most people will describe them as like your full beam, but automatic at nighttime. But in Mercedes-Benz, it takes it just kind of one step further. So just covering the headlight design first, most cars these days have, for example, daytime running lights or even like your side lights. So these are the ones that come on automatically. Usually during the days, you can kind of see the car is in motion and in use. But at night time, you of course need a bit more light than what your side lights or daytime running lights will offer. This is where the dip lights come in so you can actually see where you're going at night time. However, then if you're traveling at speed or like I am right now in the dead of night, it is very, very dark out here right now. Sometimes you'll need your full beam. Full beam is very, very bright. You can clearly see where you're going. However, it is so bright you can dazzle other road users. So this is where adaptive full beam comes in. Basically, inbuilt car systems like a Mercedes in this car, also known as multi-beam LED, will actually recognize other cars due to where their headlights are and actually make a little cutout of black around them, but put light everywhere else. It's very difficult to explain, so let's just show you how it works. Now, as always guys, I do mention that specification does vary and I know I mention that a lot on my channel, but that's because it does. And it definitely varies when it comes to headlamp technology. So in America, did you know that apparently, I was reading this in the news the other day, that adaptive headlights just pretty much don't exist. So the ones that I've heard with the branding called matrix LEDs, the ones that cause the kind of cutouts of cars in front of you and you've got full beam over on the right and left but not where the car is those haven't been allowed and I find it quite amazing actually because I thought that you know America did have that but that's just one case in point where uh, where spec does vary now of course I have read that that has now changed so I'm guessing that manufacturers can now implement that technology and provide it to the end users of the cars which would be great because what you're about to see here is some pretty cool tech so in this Mercedes-Benz right here, we have multi-beam LED and I do have it enabled right now. So if you ever want to know how this works, basically, you know, when you put your full beam on with the stalk over on the left hand side, you push it away from you and down on the bottom right, you'll have an automatic A symbol appear. And what that basically means is now it's on automatic. So when it's dark enough, the car will then automatically put full beam on everywhere and then what it does is some pretty cool things where it will actually blank out the car that's coming towards you and track it and move it across. So I said it's very difficult for me to explain, so let's just show you what it looks like. So here we go then guys, this is a full live example for you all. So I'm driving of course in the dead of night and as you can see right here, the lights of this car are just literally changing and adapting to the car in front. So see I've got a full beam, if I go around the corner here, you'll see that it'll make a cutout of all the cars coming towards you and the car in front. So I've got a full beam over on the left hand side and now full beam over on the right hand side, but watch, it'll track that car as it goes around the corner. How cool is that? It's amazing how that happens. I mean, you have to literally sit here just to see it in action. See, as I move around the corner, it just keeps that black cutout of where the car is in front. So it basically gives you as much light as possible on the left and the right, but without dazzling other road users. And it would just constantly adapt and change all the time. This is so cool. Now, one other unique feature of multi-beam LED is a thing called cornering light. So cornering light basically means that when you're traveling around about under 24 miles an hour and you use your indicator, 
multi beam LED will actually illuminate the relevant side of whichever side you put your indicator on. So it just gives you a bit more light over the side uh, when you're going to make that turn. And it's especially useful when it's quite dark at night time. Now for anyone that paid close attention to their science lessons at school, they'll know that light travels in a straight line, which is great for kind of driving during the dead of night. However, if you want to see around a corner, well, that's sadly, that's not that technically possible. But what Mercedes-Benz do with multi-beam LED is as you turn the steering wheel, you'll notice that the angular kind of lens of the lights will move in conjunction with the steering wheel. And you'll be surprised at how much of a difference that makes. It's only very subtle, but it does make a huge difference, especially right now, because this road is very, very dark. There are no street lights or anything like that. As I said the only lights here are the ambient lighting, which is just kind of illuminating all the, uh, the inside. I've got my headlights, and then I've got this light here, which is quite bright. But this definitely does help, because I can clearly see everything around me. To watch here as I go around this corner, as I turn the steering wheel to the right, the lights have moved literally straight away. You can see here if I move to the left, to the right, to the left, it just moves depending on your steering input. Now you've all seen this before, when you come across a traffic sign, um, you'll sometimes find that the reflective material on them is really, really bright. Now, not all traffic signs are the same, some are kind of bearable, but some really shine back into your eyes, and it depends on the angle, and I guess, to be honest, of the height of your car and the reflective material used on those traffic signs themselves. But again, multi-beam comes to the rescue. If there is sufficient light shining back into your eyes from that traffic sign, the car can actually make a cutout, a bit like what it does with the uh, headlights of oncoming cars and just reduce that glare so it doesn't shine in your face too much. Mercedes think of everything and they really do think of everything as well so even Mercedes-Benz have gone to the efforts of analysing how much kind of light might come off the road as well so if uh, it's been raining and you're driving in the dead of night and the road is a bit shiny with the water there kind of all sat in the road and sometimes that can be a bit glary as well so they even reduce the light intensity of that as well by reducing the lights on the very very bottom of your headlights themselves so if that's current technology now how can it get better than this well apparently mercedes-benz have made a system called digital light which if you recall the multi-beam led from this video has 84 leds per headlight Digital light has 1.3 million pixels per headlight, so that's 2.6 million per car. And this system is apparently 100 times better than multi-beam LED. So let me know down below if you'd like me to cover that in a future video. And there we go guys, that concludes this week's video on Mercedes-Benz multi-beam LED. But guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And likewise, if you have a suggestion for a potential future video, let me know down below and I might just consider your suggestion. Well guys, as always, huge shout out to Sandown Mercedes-Benz as they help provide access to all the cars you see in the videos on my channel. So huge shout out to them. But guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and that subscribe button. Until next week, see you then.